the PEP formula to find out units uh, fixed cost uh, per unit divided by contribution per unit. So the PV ratio formula is very simple contribution per unit uh, divided by selling per unit into 100. Variable cost cannot change which is a constant okay even fixed cost also not changing. The information is which is applicable for only selling price 30%. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyasram First Grade College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit 4, section 3, 4 semester BCom, Costing Methods and Technique. The chapter name is Marginal Costing. Moving forward for my today agenda, uh, which is related to the marginal costing statement uh, and the related formula, so which is a marginal cost uh, costing uh, problems, okay, in the last session also, which is uh, related to statement. So with the help of statement, how we are trying to find out contribution and sales, uh, okay, so there is a continuations problem here. So here, the following is the data taken from the record of the company. So here, the selling price per unit is given, rupees 20 is given. Okay, and the direct material cost per unit is 5 rupees is given and the direct labor cost per unit is 3 rupees is given. Okay, and the variable overheads cost is uh, uh, th 2 rupees is given. Now, this 3 item which is coming under the variable, okay, and the budgeted sales output which is uh, 80,000 units you are producing. Okay, so the fixed overheads cannot be changed which is a 4 lakh. If you want to find out fixed cost per unit, uh, 4 lakh divided by 80,000 units if you divide, so the rate for the fixed cost will be easily we can find out. Now, here there is two question, find the BEP, okay, the BEP in unit and BEP in sales, so the PV ratio and the margin of safety, okay. Next, there is one more question for calculate revised BEP, okay, PV ratio and margin of safety. If the selling price, okay, increase 30%, the actual selling price is 20. Now, the second uh, uh, question, which is uh, one first one is we, uh, we are call calculating based on the normal information. Okay, so after doing, so we are trying to go for second question, selling price will try to increase for 30% based on the question. Okay, last one, selling price per unit decrease 10%, actual the selling price, of a, okay, whatever which is given, we need to reduce the 10%. Moving forward, the first one, uh, whatever the information is there, we need to prepare the statement to find out what and all is required for the formula. So here the marginal, uh, marginal cost statement, the sales value is given, selling price is given 20, I have written here. So why I'm writing inner column, if there is more than two items, more than one items, I need to write in the inner column. So here the sales, there is no return, sales return is not there directly, I'm written, writing outside, okay. So the cost per unit is given 20. From the sales, we, are, we need to subtract the variable cost, okay, the variable cost, uh, one is direct to material, 5 rupees is given, the direct labor cost is 3 and uh, variable overheads cost per unit is 2. So, altogether we need to take a rate is given, so I have written here, okay, the material cost per unit 5, direct labor 3 and variable overheads 2. If you take the total, we, okay, uh, you are getting 10. So, from this, uh, according to form format, we need to subtract for variable cost. So 20 minus 10, so the remaining whatever it is coming, no doubt, which is, we, we call it as a contribution, okay. So moving, after getting the contribution, we need to uh, subtract the fixed cost. The fixed cost, uh, the cost per unit is not given, but value is given 4 lakh. If you want to find out co fixed cost per unit, uh, it is very simple. So 80,000, 4 lakh divided by 80,000 units, if you divide, easily we can guess uh, cost per uh, fixed cost is uh, 5 rupees, okay. So from the contribution, if you subtract fixed cost, the remaining is a uh, profit, okay. So we are getting a positive sign, so we call it as a profit here. So moving for the first one, the question, it is clearly spent, find out the BEP and PV ratio and margin of safety. The BEP formula to find out units, uh, fixed cost uh, per unit divided by contribution per unit. 
so fixed charge value is given so directly we are writing 4 lakh the contribution per unit just know using the format okay statement we uh, we got 10 rupees okay so if you divide 40000 units uh, break even point break even point means actually so uh, we are try to break even point which is nothing but the, there is no profit there is no loss so the total cost will equal to total sales okay and uh, moving for the break even value or sales uh, so nothing the same formula but just we need to multiply the uh, selling price okay there are three different formulas i have specified here so either you can apply break even point uh, using a fixed cost fixed charge divided by contribution per unit into selling price this formula is applicable for find only to find out the break even point in units if you try to multiply the selling price easily we can get the break even sales fixed cost value is given 4 lakh the contribution per unit is uh, 10 the selling price which is given in the question 20 so 4 lakh into 20 divided by 10 obviously we can get uh, rupees 8 lakhs is your sales value break even sales or you can apply one more formula fixed expense divided by pv ratio the pv ratio first we need to find out so the pv ratio formula is very simple contribution per unit uh, divided by selling per unit into 100 so whatever the percentage is coming so we need to consider here okay now the contribution per unit we got uh, 10 rupees okay so divided by selling price which is given in the question 10 20 so 10 into 100 divided by 20 50 percent we are getting so obviously we can apply now after getting the fixed uh, expenses 4 lakhs we are getting so pv ratio we just know we got 50 50 into 100 okay so 4 lakh into 100 divided by 50 so same answer you are getting rupees 8 lakh or one more formula we can apply to find out the break even sales so BEP in unit in the last slides we uh, we got uh, see we have calculated 40,000 units we got so just to multiply the selling price BEP in unit in selling price BEP unit after calculator we got 40,000 and the selling price 20 if you multiply the same answer we are getting okay so now there is one more formula to find out PV ratio the first formula we got 50 percent so there is one more formula fixed overheads 4 lakh okay divided by break even uh, sales uh, 8 lakh into 100 uh, 50 percent okay we are getting 50 percent so now moving to uh, in the question the clearly specified to find out uh, pv ratio and margin of safety so whatever we are doing now which is without uh, increasing or decreasing normal conditions margin of safety is very simple formula actual sales minus break even sales actual sales which is given in the question the number of unit 80,000 you are producing okay and selling price per unit is 20 so 18 to 20 we are getting 16 lakhs the break even sales so just now we calculated 6 lakh from this actual sales minus break even sales so margin of safety we are getting 8 lakhs so there is one more formula to find out margin of safety sales value okay how we are getting sales value because unit into selling price okay sales value how to get the sales value number of unit into selling price okay into pv ratio so number of units 80000 units selling price is 20 if you multiply and take 50 percent you have to calculate for the pv ratio so now finally we are getting 8 lakh the same answer we are getting here in the last slide uh, till uh, whatever the normal information based on the normal selling price only we are calculated now there is a uh, two questions so which is given in the question one is 30 percent increase in the selling price okay only there is a uh, changes in the selling price okay so remaining fixed cost and variable cost cannot be changed the information is applicable for only for selling price okay so there is one more question uh, the 10 percent decrease in the selling price so here the calculation of course if you try to increase or decrease there is a changes in the BEP and the PV ratio as well as margin of safety so here the first question if the selling price per unit increase by 30 percent now old selling price which is there in the question 20 now increase 30 percent means obviously we can get uh, uh, 6 rupee how we are getting 6 rupee 20 into 30 percent if you 
calculate easily we can get 6 rupees now if you add together the price of the selling price is increased now the uh, new selling price is at 26 okay so after getting the new selling price either you are depending on the statement margin of statement one more time if you can prepare otherwise directly you can you you know the formula contribution is equal to selling price minus variable cost variable cost cannot change which is a constant okay even fixed cost also not changing the information is which is applicable for only selling price 30 percent okay so immediately 26 minus 10 now new selling price 26 minus 10 now new contribution is 16 obviously now we need to do for revised bp pv ratio profit volume ratio or margin of safety the first one a pp in unit how we are finding fixed charge or fixed expense divided by contribution per unit fixed charge will 4 lakhs is given divided by new contribution we got 16 if you divide 25000 units we are getting okay now uh, try to we'll find out the break even in sales uh, the formula is same here yeah, there are three types uh, three methods we can apply the formula different formula Fixed charge expense divided by contribution per unit into selling price, new selling price. Okay. So, fixed charge 4 lakh divided by new contribution uh, 16, uh, new selling price is uh, 26. If you take uh, the selling price, selling value, break even sales value 6 lakh 50,000 we are getting. Or one more formula, fixed expense divided by PV ratio. So, uh, uh, the formula is having, uh, you, we need to find out PV ratio. So, the PV ratio formula uh, or uh, you can do for one more formula PV ratio how to find out here. So the PV ratio contribution per unit 16 we got. Uh, new selling price 26 into 161.54% we are getting. So the same thing we are applying here 4 lakhs fixed expense divided by PV ratio 61.54 into 100 uh, same answer we are getting 6 lakh 50,000 or one more formula we can apply to find out the value. So the we know the break even point of uh, units we got uh, around uh, 25,000 units. So multiply with the selling price new selling price. So 25,000 into uh, 26 rupees, so 6 lakh 50,000, same answer we are getting. Either you can depend any one formula, okay. So moving for, there is one more calculation for PV ratio, the same answer we are getting, fixed overheads divided by break even sales into 100. Fixed overheads expense is given 4 lakh, the break even sales we got 6 lakh 50, okay. So obviously we can get a 61.54%. So finally, we are going for the margin of safety, actual sales, uh, the number of unit is 80,000, okay, into new selling price, uh, 26. Uh, if you multiply, so you are getting 20 lakhs, 80,000. Break even sales value, we calculated 6 lakh, 50,000. If you subtract the margin of safety, 14 lakh, 30,000, okay. So moving for the next question. Uh, selling price per unit decreased by 10%. So the old selling price I have written 20. So which is a decrease 10% means 2 rupee. Okay. 20 into 10% means we are getting 2 rupee. If you subtract the new selling price, revised selling price is 18. So again, we need to find out a break even unit, break even sales, PV ratio, margin of safety. So revised contribution are the formula same. Revised selling price minus variable cost cannot be changed. Variable cost is not changing. So new selling price 18, 18 minus variable cost, which is 10. So now contribution we are getting 8. Okay. So after getting all the information, we are trying to go for calculating a break even unit, break even sales, even PV ratio. Okay. And margin of safety. So the first one to find out the break even unit is the fixed expense divided by contribution per unit. So contribution per unit just now we got 8. Okay. So 4 lakhs divided by 4 lakh divided by 8. So 50,000 units we are getting. Either you can depend on this formula or one more formula fixed charge or divide, uh, fixed expense divided by contribution per unit into selling price. Okay. So fixed expense 4 lakhs is given, contribution 8 is given, selling price we got uh, new selling price is 18. Uh, so obviously the 9 lakhs we are getting, okay, the sales value. So one more formula to calculate, so the find out the uh, PV ratio because we have, we know there are, there are different, different formula we can apply according to your information. Okay.
So the PV ratio contribution per unit divided by selling price into 100 contribution we got 8 divided by new selling price is 18. If you multiply 44.44 per percent we are getting or you can apply one more formula to find out the PV ratio. So fixed overheads divided by say break even sales value. So fixed overheads which is given uh, 4 lakh divided by new break even sales we are getting 9 lakhs. Uh. So obviously the same answer 44.44 percent we are getting. So finally we are trying to go for margin of safety actual sales minus uh, break even sales. Actual sales uh, here are uh, the number of units are 80,000 new selling price is 18. So if you multiply 20 lakhs 80,000 from this you need to subtract the break even sales value. So finally we are getting 5,40,000. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.